Good morning. Hello. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply the Gaussian property of logarithms. So the logarithm of a Gaussian of two numbers is the same as the difference. So when you have the Gaussian, okay, the logarithm, the logarithm of a Gaussian of two numbers is the same as the difference of the logarithms of these numbers. So what do we mean? So if you have a log where the number within the log is a quotient, it's going to be equal to the difference of the, uh, the difference of, those, of these numbers, okay? That represent the quotient. So now we can go from one single log to two logs. We call that form the, expand, the expanded form or to expand. Now we can go from two single log to one log and you call that format uh, to condense or the condensed form. So what I would like you to practice, you're going to practice the expand form. So we start with log base A, uh, basically expand means you start with single log. So you read that log base A of A over B is equal to log base A of A minus log, log base A of B. So example I have here, I have a common log of five over four. So if you follow this formula, remember, when you have a quotient, we can rewrite it as, we can explain it as the subtraction, the, as, uh, the subtraction of two logs. So I'm going to start with the common log of what? Of five minus the common log of four. So remember, if you don't see the number at the bottom, for the base, it, the base mean is 10. And in algebra, in mathematics, we refer to this kind of log as a common log, okay? So again, when you are dividing, so if you go from one single log to two log, you have to use a subtraction, okay? So let's do another example. And again, uh, we can evaluate this using the calculator because the common log, but just let's stop here. So that's, that's the end, that's the final answer, okay? To find the exponent. So we don't need to uh, compute to evaluate to find the exact, the approximate number, just leave it alone. So let's do number two. So for number two, you have log base five of five over 25 is going to be equal to what? How would you rewrite this if you want to expand this log? So please pause the video and um, expand the log. Now, okay, so I found the answer to be negative one. And how did I end up with negative one? Again, remember you have a quotient. The number within the log is a quotient. So to expand, you're going to use a subtraction. So you're going to find the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So you have here, um, so now log represents the exponent, okay? So this means, okay, log base five of five is asking you to find what exponent would you give to the base five? So what exponent would you give to the base five so that the answer is five? Okay, so let's think again. So what exponent would you give to the base five so that the answer is five? So if the, both needs to be the same, because this is five and the exponent of five the ex, uh, is always one, but you don't usually write the exponent of one. So for both to be equal, so the exponent needs to be as well one. So that's why I wrote one here. Now the second one, this one means, okay, log base five, log base five of, of 25 means, okay, can you find the exponent to give to the base five? So let me do that here. Can you find the exponent to give to the base five so that the answer is equal to 25? What would be the exponent to give to the base five so that it's equal to 25? Can it be one? No, if his exponent is one, it's five. But if it's two, five squared is 25. So the exponent must be two. So that's why I would two here. And now we subtract and you end up with negative one. Okay, so let's do another one.
So the other one is you have log base two of eight over three is equal to log base two of eight. Oh, sorry. I was doing the work instead of giving you time to think about it. I apologize. So now let's pause the video. And I would like you to evaluate, like, expand this log and evaluate if you can't the log. Okay. Okay. So the answer I asked you, what am I asking you to do here? So you have a quotient division. So you're going to subtract the log of the numerator and then minus the log of the denominator. So now the log base two of eight means, can you find log is the exponent? Okay, so it's asking us to find the exponent and the two represent the base. So what exponent would you give to the base two so that the answer is eight? What is the exponent you give to the base two? So what exponent would you be to the base, uh, base two so that the answer is eight? The only exponent, the only number that we make the power to become eight is the base to be eight is uh, three because two times two times two is eight. So that's why I wrote three here. And this one, I'm just going to leave it alone because you cannot do in our head. So basically, what exponent would you give to the base eight? So the answer is three. So, it will be, so for this, we have to use the change of base formula so to evaluate the log. Again, I didn't show you yet how to use the change of base formula for this video, okay? So I didn't make a video yet, so let's leave it like that. Okay, so that's the final answer, okay? So let's do one more and we do the condensed form. Okay, so please, I would like you to expand this log, log base three of four over nine. Pause the video and do your best, okay? Okay, here again, we have a division, a quotient, so it's going to be the log of a numerator minus the log of the denominator. And this, we can, you can evaluate this log by using the change of, change of base formula but I didn't teach you that yet. I didn't make a video yet. So let's stop here, okay? And then we know that log base three of nine means what exponent would you give to the base three so that the answer is nine? So what exponent would you give to the base three so that the answer is nine? So the exponent represents the log. So the number is two, that's why I wrote two right here, okay? So now, next you're going to move on to um, do the condensed form. What do I call condensed? So the condensed form is when you go from two logs to a single log. So let's say we have log base A of A minus log base A of B. So if you have two logs, okay, that share the same base and they're separated at the subtraction sign. So we can rewrite as a single log. So you're going to run as log base A. You have to make sure you keep the same base, which is A. Of, now it's going to be the fraction or the quotient of those two logs. So it's going to be A over B. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Okay, so the first example for the condensed form I have is, you have log base, the common log of three, sorry, minus the common log of 30. Is, it, is equal to what number? Okay, please pause, pause the video and do your best, okay? Okay, so what I wanna explain, so you have a subtraction and they share the same log, which is the common log. So we do the uh, quotient or you, it's a fraction of those two logs. So it's three over 30 and three over 30 can be simplified to 110. Okay, by dividing by three top and below you end up with 110. Now, remember, if you don't see the base, uh, the number for the base, always always assume is the number 10. The base is 10, okay? So the base is 10 here. So now, if this is asking you, can you find, so let me do right here. Can you find the, the number to give to the base 10 so that the answer is one over 10? So remember, one over 10 is a reciprocal of 10, okay? So, which means, so the exponent must be negative, okay? 
So because there's only one 10 at the bottom, so the exponent has been negative one. So be simplified to negative one. So this is the negative one. So this final answer is going to be log, the common log of three minus the common log of 30 is going to be equal to negative one. So let's move on to number two. For number two, you have log the common log, the, uh, sorry, log base two of 60 minus log base two of 15 is equal to what? So could you please condense, uh, revise the log as a single log? And if you can be simplified, simplify the log as well, okay? Okay, so I find the answer to be, um, two why is that so 15 so subtraction and they share the same base the same log and the same base so i would as a single log and i do the ratio the quotient the ratio of those two uh, numbers so 60 divided by, by 15 is 4 and remember log base 2 of 4 is asking can you find the exponent you give to the base 2 so that the answer is 4 and the answer is 2 the exponent you give to the base 2 is 2 so the answer is 4 why 2 square is 4 so let's move on to, okay, um, the last one. And I'm going to use Ellen. So for number three, you're given Ellen of six minus Ellen of two. How would you evaluate this? I mean, how would you condense this log? So the answer is going to be ln of three. Why? You do six divided by two and six divided by two is three. Okay, it was my pleasure uh, teaching you today. I hope this video was beneficial to you. Um, thank you for being here and see you to the next video. Bye-bye.